Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hello, Tyrannus users. I want to do a short video on making uh, custom voices, custom sounds for your Tyrannus radio. I've got some here for my vector that's back here and uh, the vectors in the twin star plane is right behind me over there and I put these sounds in for the twin star auto level loiter mode in standby loiter mode heading hold manual mode heading hold in standby so I've got these various sounds and I'm just going to do a short video because somebody asked me how did I make those sounds Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go ahead and search for acapella-group, and that's 1C, 1P, 1L. Let's go in there, and it's the top one right here, acapella-group.com. Go in there. Now, this is where we're going to create our custom voices, this website. And uh, first thing is uh, choose your language, whatever language you may use. I'm just going to use my native language, English USA. Then pick a voice. And there's a number of different voices labeled by people's names here. I've found that uh, Sharon works pretty good for me. And then you have to type something in. Like, let's say we put return to home. All right, let's listen to it. Return to home. All right, that sounds good. But let's put more than one of the commands in, one more, so we can have several sounds in one package. So I'm going to do a delay by putting in some periods. One, two, three. That just gives it a little delay. Now let's type in another one. Let's try stabilize mode. Stabilize mode. Now, if you spell something wrong, that's okay. It's more important that you get it uh, spelled the way you want it to sound. So you might even add letters or subtract letters or even put the wrong letters in just so you can get the right sound. I'm going to put another delay in. Now let's listen to that. Return to home. Stabilize mode. All right. Now let's put one more in. Let's put manual mode. And uh, I'll just stop there. No more delays. Return to home. Stabilize mode. Manual mode. So now we need to get the sounds off here. And there's no button or anything on the website to do it, so I'll have to show you a trick there. But first, let's just uh, create a folder over here on the desktop. And uh, I'll just call that Acapella Sounds. There we go. Now, let's export the sound. And the way we do that is pick an empty space right here and right click and then go in and view frame source don't do view page source pick view frame source and in there you'll find a link to the mp3 file that was created by the website so we go right here highlight that I'm gonna do control C to copy it and then I'm just going to open a new window and paste it up here in the address bar. Hit enter. Return to home. Stabilize mode. Manual mode. Okay. Now, right click on an empty place in this browser window and do a save as. Now at this point you can give it a name if you want to. I'll just I'll just put in uh Tyrannus Voices like that. Now let's save it. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh 
show folder and then guess what I'm gonna copy it over to the folder we made earlier and just put it right here move there so I took it out of my downloads folder and or wherever it was it was actually under a camera folder but uh, that just gets it where you want it next we need to get audacity which is a sound editor if we don't already have it so let's search for that and we usually get it off uh, SourceForge. SourceForge popped right up. And uh, let's just go there. And there it is. And you can download it. And you can see it's for various versions of Windows. I have Windows 8, but it'll work on these other versions. So download that. Okay, so once you get it on your computer, install it I'm not going to go through the whole thing on installing Audacity but once you get it installed go ahead and launch it and now we need to load in our sound file that we got from Acapello so let's see if we can open a file here file open and we want to go to the desktop and then we want to go to the Acapello sounds folder right here and there's our voices. Let's go ahead and open it. And there it is. Now, the trick to this is you need to go ahead and highlight one of the sections here. I'll just go ahead and play it. Return to home. All I did was hit the space bar to play it and hit the space bar to stop it. Return to home. Stabilize mode. Manual mode. Okay, so let's export each one one at a time. So what I'm going to do is uh, left click and drag a selected area. So I'm going to select that one command right there. And you can play it still. Return to home. Return to home. So we know it's return to home. Just hitting the space bar. Okay, now we need to export that. The first thing we need to do is go down here and make sure this is set to uh, 32,000 for the Hertz and then go here now this is kind of important make sure you do export selection and not just export because if you export you'll get all three of the sounds and we only want one so let's export selection so to make it short let's just put RTH and if this is like for a certain plane or, or a flight controller like I could put vector or put vect or just v let's just put v v underscore rth so that's what i'm going to go with and make sure this is set to uh wave here 16-bit pcm see there's different selections make sure it's on that wave all right now let's just pick where we want it to go and it's already going in acapella sound so no problem we'll just save it and uh, you can basically remove this information. Uh, you can clear it all right there. You might want to put the name, like Sharon, in there just so you remember which one you picked. And then say OK. And now it's in this folder over here. Right there. Return to home. So you got it. All right, let's just do the others. I'll just do them real quick. So select it. And then do the export selection. Make sure that's on 32,000. This is on 16-bit PCM. And then you can give it a name. I think it was, uh, let's call it V underscore stab. I think it was stabilize or something. And we'll save that. And it's already got this filled in the way I want it. It remembered. All right, let's go on to the next one manual mode. All right, that's manual mode. I just press the space bar. Let's do the same thing. Export selection. V underscore man. I'm just keeping the name short because they can't be more than eight letters for uh, the Tyrannus right now. That may change, but right now that's the way it is. Okay, now we got them all and they're all there. We can close this. Don't want to save, no and there's the folder 
and all of the sounds are right there. Return to home. Manual mode. Stabilize mode. So they're ready to go on the Tyrannus. Okay, now we're going to put the sounds onto the Tyrannus radio. So I'm going to go ahead and start the radio, but in order to do that, what you have to do is hold these two switches. I'm going to hold both of these switches, turn on the radio. All right. Now it says there, Tyrannus bootloader. And it's got some menu items here, but we're not going to do anything with that. All we're going to do is plug in the USB cable into the computer, like that. Now it says USB connected. Now if you wait a little bit, the windows will start popping up, and you'll get two windows, one on top of the other. So this is the one I don't want. Oh, wait a minute, excuse me, that is the one I want. See, there's another one under, underneath it here, and this is one I do not want. This has the EEPROM and the firmware in it, which I don't want to fool with. What I want is this one right here, which has the folders. And I want to go into the sounds folder right here, then go into mine, which is English. That's standard for the ones here in the U.S. And then all you do is just copy these files into there. So, let's do that. There we go, got all three of them, drag them over, copy here. And I'm going to skip that because I already have one like that in there. Okay, so once they're over there, then you can use them. Okay, now that they're in there, let's go back to the radio. And all you got to do is just uh, unplug the radio. And this, there we go, and shut it off. Okay, now when you turn it back on, you can go into the menus. Okay. I cycled, I cycled the power. And now you can go ahead and put the sounds into your playlist, wherever that may be. For me, it is right here under menu 11 where I have a special function set up for each sound and it plays off the switch settings in these in the L1 through 8 and then I've got play track and then the name of the sound right here so there's return to home for example right there so if I throw the switch return to home. you can see it works so have fun with it and I think you'll enjoy it the same as I do because it reminds me what position the switches are in. Here, play. <laughs>